Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am super stoked to share with you my recipe for Greek Tiganopsomo. Tiganopsomo, loosely translated or in layman's terms, is fried bread. I know, but it is so worth it because, of its, because it's so delicious. So, first things first in this recipe, what we're going to do is get our pan preheating with veg oil. Not olive oil, veg oil. So get that going. The key to this recipe or any fried recipe is make sure before you add what you're frying uh, to the oil, make sure the oil is really, really hot. Otherwise, it's going to absorb it. It's going to be like kaka in the end, and you don't want that. So now our oil is going there. I'm going to be using self-rising flour for this. This is a very basic recipe, and all I'm going to do is add uh, three cups of self-rising flour to my mixing bowl. And by the way, I'm going to mix this by hand, so it's that easy. You don't even need a mixer for this at all. So I'll just get that in there like that. Now, the next thing I want to find is a spoon. Get that going. And all we're going to do to this is literally start adding water to this. Initially, I want to do about a cup of water to three cups and see where it goes. The end game for this is you want the dough to pull away from the sides of our bowl. Now, along with this, I'm going to be adding get these flowers out of the way. <laughs> A pinch of salt as well will go in there and a little drizzle of olive oil just a little bit maybe a glug or two and again keep stirring that all right my dough is done now I'm gonna take some all-purpose flour and just put it on my working surface and put my dough out here very very easy recipe and all you're going to do is just it doesn't really need any kneading you're just going to kind of fold it into itself just like that and that's perfect literally just like that now we're just going to take our dough cut it form it into little balls just like that now just spread it out. Doesn't have to be any particular size at all. You can just place it just like that. All right, my Tiganopsomo is ready to go on the first side and it is, oh my gosh, look at that. Look how it's puffed up. Gorgeous, brown. It's exactly the color I'm looking for. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is finish frying off my Tiganopsuma and then we're going to doll them up. All right, so the first batch is pretty much ready to go. Here's the thing now to these as well. Make some room here. You're going to take some paper towels, and this is pretty important, and line the bottom of the plate that you're going to put them in so that way you lose that excess residual oil. That is not a good thing. It is delicious, but not good. So this is the last of my Tiganopsoma done here. I like them a little bit on the extra crispy side, but you can do it to your doneness, whatever you like, totally fine. Notice how they're like crispy on the outside, which I like them that way. And they're light and airy on the inside. And I'm going to show you how this is going to go now. So, I told you we were going to do this two ways, and we are. The first way is just like this. Very simply, plain Jane, regular, beautiful Tiganopsomo. Look at that. It's light. It's fluffy on the inside. Mm. Mm. Serve this up with some feta cheese, some olives some pickled veggies, mm, beautiful. The other part I was telling you about, 
part two, the sweet part. I'll just flip this around like this. So you can actually see what's going on here. How many of them are under there? It's like a scavenger hunt. I love it. This here, this here, like that. So you got like a nice little soldier course of Tiganopsomo. Now, when it comes to this, here comes the sweet part. I'm going to take a little bit of cinnamon. Just sprinkle all over these. Oh, or a little, or a little extra. I'm going to take a little bit of honey. This is going to be such a delicious snack. Okay, it's not the healthiest, but I guarantee it's one of the most delicious out there. And lastly, I want to zhuzh this up even more. I'm going to take like a handful of walnuts. Just throw them in my mini me food processor here. Perfect. Just like that. And I'm going to take these and just lightly sprinkle them with walnuts. And this, my friends, is an awesome, awesome little dessert. So you have here Tiganopsomo savory and Tiganopsomo sweet. Whichever way you prefer, they are both equally delicious. So that's it for this episode on my... Uh, Greek Tiganopsomo or my fried dough or fried bread. Very delicious, super easy to make. A couple, three ingredients and you are done. And fairly quick. This took maybe 15, less than 15 minutes to fry up all of these. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I try and upload almost every day on weekdays, Monday to Friday. And It'll give you new ideas on different things, whether you're into meat, fish, poultry, vegetarian. There's always something new cooking up in my kitchen. And if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know. Also, for this recipe, check it out online at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will definitely see you on the next one. Much love. Bye for now.